Hey everyone, I wanted to show you what software I have installed on uh, my MacBook Pro. Um, I bought my MacBook Pro in 2010, mid-year model, and I really bought it as uh, is to be a, a kind of a media station, a portable media station for me. And that, that means uh, content creation tools such as um, iMovie and Final Cut. Uh, Pro Final Cut Express at the time that I bought, and uh, just a, a more high-end version to process pictures. Wanted to try it out. I also thought about doing some some uh, development as well with it. Uh, so here it is. I'm running Lion OS X 10.7.2. I bought the 2.66 i7 version. I bought a 4 gig amount of memory but I upgraded to 8 gig which is extremely easy to do and in my view low cost for anything you can really add to a computer highly recommend that I saw immediate uh, improvement in, in responsiveness um, what else so let's look at just a few more things actually it's don't there um, so that's what I bought here I got the 15 inch screen for the um, for the computer and I bought a version that has the 330M 512 megabyte graphics chip in here from NVIDIA. Um, that allows some, you can game with it, you can offload some of the CPU processing to the, um, to the uh, video card chip, the GPU. Uh, it came with a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Really wish it had more because if there's any complaint, it's the chronic race to figure out where to put things on this drive. I have all kinds of external drives I can attach to it, but honestly, that's just kind of a pain. And the speed, the connectivity speed of those devices is USB and it's slow. And yes, I know they have the Thunderbolt version out, but that's uh, so new and expensive and you have to buy a new computer. So anyways... Would have liked a larger, smaller, larger in capacity, smaller hard drive in this, if you know what I mean. All right, so then I have the 8 gig of memory in two sticks, and I, so I, again, I highly recommend that upgrade. Software that I have on here, I'm a Chrome user, but I also have every browser that's basically out there, Firefox, Safari, that will work on the Mac, of course. Um, Software that I use in my video creation and photo editing, uh, Adobe Lightroom 3, I'm running the latest, latest version of that. The software is great in that I can buy one licensed copy and I can run it on my Windows uh, desktop and have a copy on my Mac as well. It's all perfectly legal to do. They give you a license for a desktop and a laptop. I think that's great. I wish they did that on Photoshop. Um, I have, okay, so that's what I am uh, primarily use. Lightroom for pictures is my starting point. I can do 90% of what I want to do with Lightroom. I then use Final Cut Pro lately for my videos. Um, all kinds of videos out there about this. I think, you know, it's, it's a pretty good program with some frustrating points. Uh, I bought Motion and I bought Compressor that go along with Final Cut Pro. Uh, had I known how I'm using and the capabilities of Final Cut Pro now, I probably would not have bought Motion. Maybe, maybe. There's been a small couple things. I probably would not have bought Motion. I probably would have not bought Compressor. Compressor looks just something ar archaic and old and just very odd compared to the other newer Mac applications and I don't find it fast and I don't find it easy to use at all. And Motion is has an extremely high learning curve and it's just basically a way to build out different actions and titling systems and, and uh, graphics to your um, videos you put out there. You can build out templates. Uh, then iMovie, I was using that a lot. I think that's a great uh, program for uh, you know low cost. I mean, if you buy a Mac, it basically is going to come with iMovie. Photo Booth, I think that's just a gimmick. I, I laugh every time Apple gets on the stage and they talk about Photo Booth and it's just a webcam with stupid you know 
co comical things you can do with it. I don't use it. It's just kind of a joke. Address book I don't use. Xcode is the free development tool that you can use to develop iPhone, iPad, Mac applications. It's actually a very powerful IDE environment. And I don't have enough hours in the day to learn how to do it. I want to. But, you know, what I have read about it in the coding and the practices of it is, ex in my view, it's extremely difficult. You would think your simple iPhone applications are would be relatively easy to program. In my view, it's it's not. It's very much object-oriented programming, and it has a lot of specific things that are unique to the um, Apple's way of doing things. iTunes, I use that a little bit on here, not too much. This is not my primary workstation, so I don't. I'm not using iTunes too much. This computer isn't left on all the time, so. I don't stream movies from it at all. I love Evernote. It's a quick note-taking application that you can put on all your devices, your iPhone, your iPad, your desktop, your MacBook here, and it'll sync up all of your notes. Um, I like Thunderbird email. It's probably my primary email tool here on my desktop and my uh, laptop. It's free. I use Echo Phone for Twitter. It's kind of a fun application to uh, just you know look at your Twitter feeds. Actually, at desktop-wise, I don't use the Twitter applications too much or, or even on the laptop. What I actually do use Twitter on is my iPad and my iPhone. It's just something about it. It's easier to work with on uh, on the iPhone and iPad. Uh, there's, there's, so there's Echo Phone and Twitter, but both of them are very close in, in functionality. I bought this Daisy Disk. It's just a tool that can hunt down where you're using your storage on your computer so it'll scan your drives and and look at uh, you know where what folders have the most uh, content okay so I use a remote desktop connection to get to a Windows server I've used this VNC tool to get to an old Linux server that I don't have anymore I bought the sticky program not bought but I think um, if I did, it was only 99 cents, but it's basically you take an image and you can overlay titles with it, and I've actually never really got into it at all, so it doesn't really need to be in my primary dock here. Logitech webcam software, FaceTime. FaceTime was cool when it came out, but, you know, it doesn't get used too much. Wonderlist. This is a cool one. You should check this out. It's a free application that all it is is a task list tool. You can set up multiple lists and put tasks in the individual lists and it syncs up with all of your computers so you can have it on your your iPhone, your iPad, your desktop, your laptop here and it will sync all your tasks and I think it's pretty cool. It's a little oversimplified but it's fast and easy to use and the cool thing about it is it's always available on one of your devices. I have some software for an Epson Perfection V30 scanner uh, Picasa, I just recently downloaded for the Mac. I haven't got into it too much yet, but uh, it's an okay program for free. If you don't have any kind of imaging organization tools or minor editing tools, I say get Picasa for Windows or Mac. And it, again, is free. And documents here, what else do I have? You know, I don't use these applications too much here. Just B test. Dropbox, I use a decent amount, but I don't ever have to go directly in here. I can use the Finder, and that is about all I want to show you. Basically, again, this is my media creation device, my, my laptop, not creation, but uh, my editing workstation, basically. Uh, again, pictures, Lightroom, Final Cut Pro for video, some associated tools with it. The surprising thing is I don't have Photoshop or a Photoshop, uh, you know, what's that, uh, what's the other version called? The, um, I don't know, the, the lower cost one that's for around $100, I'm forgetting the name. I would try that out, ultimately I decided that it was too expensive for what I would actually use it for, so I don't do any actual final, you know, 5%, that next or 5% of my photos on this computer, I move them back to my desktop where I have Photoshop installed. So I thought it'd be interesting to show you my laptop here and what I had installed. If you had any questions, let me know.